okay so now we have the custom room which i'm using right now which is the custom i'm using some things some apps which i'm using some settings and a lot more things which i'm going to talk about basically what is in my phone in this month 2022 july 2022 i was using iphone previous time now i'm using android for now as my primary device approximately for a week and the custom room i'm using right now is at this is ming way this is ming way 13 i know that a lot of users will think about it but yes me only 13 is quite good if you don't know i made a video already some days ago that me only 13 is so good in snapdragon 870 and yes i'm using it in snapdragon 870 i'm using it in me 11x me only 13.0.6.0 stable version and this is not a modded one this is a not a global or chinese this is indian stable version not from OTA I'm using it after flashing it from custom recovery but yes it's simple a recovery room but the thing is yes it's super good super fast super smooth it's just my opinion of course I'm using it of course based on Android 12 that me me 11x has Android 12 based me 13 available me y 13 based on android 11 is not there so yes me y 13 android 12 is here using app lock and still didn't got any kind of performance issues so far looks quite good let me show quickly let me show quickly the themes i'm using right now i tried installing two themes here pixel pro 6 and cyberpunk 2077 if i want to use a dark mode i'll use cyberpunk theme but right now as i'm using light mode most of the times i use light mode on my devices so that's why i'm using this pixel pro 6 this is the theme i'm using right now theme good theme is looking quite good by the way you can simply double tap to change the wallpaper so this is something really good also themes ui themes enter ui is changed looks interesting one also it has some fonts options available i'm using these fonts harmony os sans and even this font is available as a magisk module if you don't know about that i think so i have shared with you on my telegram channel if i haven't i'll i'll share with you for sure one plus nord is also there and one of the best thing is even i don't know but Mingwei india stable now just now it is it is able to apply the themes or these so fonts kind of things without reboot that's something really interesting i didn't knew that and yes this app also i shared with you what is this to back up your apps and data this is something really interesting one why i'm using this and why i am why I, I like this app a lot two things basically the first thing is of course the ui i'm not comparing it with any other app so far but yes the ui seems to be quite good and same like that one more thing is the speed it's super smooth i i tried the app i tried taking backup and restoring the apps backup it was super fast it was super super fast i didn't got even it didn't took around one minute it was less than one minute for five to six apps to restore this is super good as yes i have rooted my device as expectedly me magic version 25.1 the latest magic version is what i'm using right now on my device so there's no issues for me at all also um, i'm not using any major kind of modules here only simple one magic module which is universal safety net fix but other than else things are basically done if i move on to other options you can see as i just mentioned i haven't installed any kind of module so this is not a big deal for me but other than else things are basically same if i move on to some other things or for example the things which you have which i have included in this video is some of the settings some of the apps so yes this is also one of the apps which i'm using super backup as data backup that app as i mentioned that was for apps backup and restoration of data but this one is what we have is uh, for call logs and sms so for example if i want to change things want to take backup as i know anything can be happened with my device so i always take backup for call logs sms logs maybe uh, once in a day it is quite better for me so that's what i'm doing also we have this app available this is called v music why this is so useful if you wanna use if you play some songs if you love to if you love to listen songs as most of the users will definitely then you need a music app youtube music app is youtube music premium is basically paid spotify is paid and now we have the alternative available this is called v music this is quite good good kind of ui i dedicated i made a dedicated short video if i'm not wrong on my tk shorts channel 
channel if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe this is what we have right now available that's Pasito. i tried this and yes you have some extra few of the options already available looks interesting one looks quite good here if i move on to the other things and this one for example let me show you if you're able to see some options are there you can't download these songs by the way but for streaming this might be a very good choice for you it was about the apps and things uh, what we have right now if i move on to the settings options and if you take a look at these you can see this is super smooth i'll also talk about the safety net also yeah i'll also talk about the refresh rate so make sure to watch this let me show you one more thing here if i move on to the lock screen options and lock screen timeout i enable the option for 10 minutes in china rooms we have the option for never and if you use AOSP rooms, you have the option for never. I'll definitely use that. But in MIUI, especially India stable, we have the option for 10 minutes only. And I have, I'm using this option because I know when I want to turn off my device and when I don't want to. So that's why I use that option. Refresh rate is also there as yes, I'm using this device with 120 years refresh rate. If you're using a device which has a 120 years refresh rate, it does not make sense if you use a 60 hertz because why are you using 120 hertz device if you want to use for 60 hertz if you want to go for 60 hertz just for battery purposes it doesn't make sense to me so this is why i'm using 120 hertz even i was using 120 hertz in redmi note 10 pro it's no issues for me at all if we move on to these options i'm using only this option called play sound when locking device other options i don't want that dial port dial pad tones we have the play sound when taking screenshot sounds we have deleting item sound i don't need it so i'm not using this one more thing if i move on to the control center style if you're able to see i don't think so you might be happy with that but yes this is what i'm using the old style control center why so because it looks better and if you apply any kind of theme from the theme store the themes might be applied here and most of the times the miui 13 control center does not have the proper options where you can customize that but with this old style control center you can customize it very easily by using any theme from the theme store this is one of the advantages of using that and also in some cases the miui 13 control center kind of lags if you compare it with the older one but it's just my opinion it's not the others one too also have the fingerprint face unlock i'm not going to talk about that but i don't use face unlock at all i only use fingerprint and screen lock but face lock 99 percent times i don't use sometimes i use but 99 percent times i don't usb option is one of the useful things and i always use this thing which is called a file transfer i always use a default usb to file transfer because i don't want to use for usb tethering i don't want to customize it regularly by connecting my device to pc again to switch back to no data transfer or file transfer file transfer is my default one one more setting which i do in developer options is the animations i always use animation style 0.5x even though i was using redmi 4 then redmi note 5 pro and any device which i was using i still use this option called window animation scale and transition animal animation scale etc so this was about my device this is what i'm using right now with this latest version and this is about today's video i think you like this and if you like this video don't forget to like and share this also make sure to subscribe the channel goodbye